hi everyone welcome back to another YouTube video so today I'll be reviewing another wig as you can see from the title so if you're interested stay tuned Before I get into the wig review, I must say that, you know, as a natural hair girly, it is really hard to find time to do my hair. I'm a PhD student and when I say I am struggling, may I struggle, right? But nonetheless, I like the ease of having to, you know, change up my look um, if I feel one day. So I think, like, I started looking into, like, ready-to-go wigs or, you know, glueless wigs. Closer to my birthday and, you know, I found a company, loved it, loved the quality and I was like, you know what, let's try another wig from them. This time I was also going for the same kinky um, silk press look. So let's see if they did your girl justice. Yeah? So I already opened my package. Um, as you can see here, just a little damage. And I think this, is, this was just um, from, of course, the carrier. But as usual, I always tell you guys, like, I really love their packaging, the whole purple and gold. Offensive side eye. Packaging. It's beautiful with the bow. So we're going to get straight into the unboxing. Take it off. Take it all off. Open the package. This is what I see. And it says, we know switching it up is everything, so unbox the love. And it's ironic because it seems like they already know me where I was saying, like, you know, I want to be able to switch it up. So thank you, love me here for making me feel like, feel like you know me. So let's find out, like, what is in the package. This is the wig. First time taking it out of the box. As usual, it comes with a little thing for it to keep its shape. I call this the wig holder. <laughs> Your wig bag. It comes with a wig grip. So you know for the girlies who sometimes when they have their wigs on, sometimes it slides back. This is what prevents it from slipping. <laughs> so, your wig got a grip grip no slip off no embarrassment a road yeah so that's the benefit of that it comes with i think two wig, yeah two pieces of wig cap which is glorious um to be honest love me here is the only company that i've ever bought from here from that provides me with a natural looking um, wig cap color so kudos to them it also comes with a wig user guide like you know they tell you how to use it how to care for it in the event that you are not satisfied how to return and get your refund and of course they say to you thank you for choosing love me here I got a purple box Aww. got a brush Okay, I'll talk to me again. May I love me brush. But anyway, let's go to what we've all been waiting for. I was aiming for a silk press texture. And so this is what it is. Like a kind of silk press kind of thing. Hello. Look here. So I cannot make baby hairs to save my life. So the mere fact that this... Hopefully you can see it clearly. Let's see. The main fact that this comes with baby hairs and you know that is a plus for me and not only that but it the baby hairs are somewhat like it mimics my own like hair so it's like really kinky if you will. Um, so I like that about it. So let's get into the wig construction. Turn it inside out for now. I don't know how to describe it. Is it a T? I guess. 
that's not how I, that is not a tea to me. But anyways, this is how the wig is constructed. So it's like a little C and then you have the 5x5 five by five by thing closure. There are three combs, two to the sides, one to the back. There is an adjustable wig band, which I'm grateful for. In addition to the built-in adjustable straps. So let's see how this is going to work. So this is it straight out of the box and as you can see like it gives you like a, a blow look. I can see me wearing this to work or like to my little conferences. I have a conference in July so maybe this is what I'll wear. I think this is really nice. Let's see if we can if we can flat iron it. That's the moment of truth for me. Not telling the light to I kinda like how this the part looks. This is also beginner friendly, like even though I feel like I know how to do hair, I also believe I'm still at the beginner level. Talk nice to me. Talk nice to me. So let me go off camera, flat iron it, and come right back. So I'm done flat ironing, and I honestly love the look compared to what it was. But all in all, I think this is really nice. I love the texture, as I said before. <laughs> can see like it blends in with my own hair that's a plus for me what i did do though i i do have a trimming share that i use to kind of thin out the baby hairs so they're not as thick if you've ever heard the saying anything that can go wrong will go wrong that is exactly what just happened the camera died so in the middle of me shooting <laughs> that happened but anyway let's get back to um the wig as i was saying like it does this it, it it's giving it's definitely giving for me like i want to see how the curls are gonna come into place i did not trouble these hairs because i kind of like them it hides the lace but i did trouble these i use my trimming shears and cut them to make sure that they do blending with my natural baby hairs so i do like that i'm not much shedding at all as you can see um not a lot of shedding which is good pro tip do not use your flat iron at 450 do not it will take 410 but i think 450 was too much it wasn't frying or anything but I did see where it was getting to that point and just to avoid all of that, I would suggest not to do it. No, in terms of the hair, I think it is nice. I think like in terms of the baby hairs that are closer to this side, I think it could be a little thinner because I had to use my thinning shears to kind of thin these out. I did not trouble these because I wanted you guys to see it. This is how thick they are. Nothing is wrong with it, but I'd prefer since the part is on this side and that this is a little bit thinner. In point to note, I did not make any adjustments to the lace itself so what you're seeing here is actually straight out of the box no makeup no powder no tint no nothing of that sort everything is as natural as it came out of the box no concealer nothing to that effect and this is the final final look 
and I think this is definitely going to be my hair for the conference. I think this is a win. What do you think? Like, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. I am curious to, you know, any suggestions in terms of what I can do with the wig, what you'd like to see me try with the wig. Just let me know. Like, I am honestly excited. I am honestly impressed this is a ready to go wig i wanna know like love me here really show me that i should trust the process because at first i was worried with the texture because i was like you know is it going to hold heat or anything like that so i really do love this one i like it i really do like it so let's do a 360 I did not use any glue so you can also see that it's glueless so you know that's a big vibe that's a big plus a big vibe um another thing that I wish and maybe it's the two strand twist that's underneath the wig but I do wish the cap was a, a bit bigger for my head I'm a I have big head so like it is on but you know i'd rather full coverage you know so other than that look at that who can tell me say i'm a silk press but a silk press me here like i just did some more manipulation to the point where you know this is my um baby hairs or edges my edges here my edges my edges and then the wig edges starts about there so as you can see like if you really want to you can leave out some of yours and this again this is a five by five so you can you can actually play with it and it looks somewhat natural um there about you know something to this effect um so like it is this is definitely a win i i would recommend this wig um to anybody thank you so much for watching this wig review with me let me know your thoughts please remember to like share and subscribe